Hello people, Jugglet here. So it's official, Eruption is in the bin. It's a shame in my opinion because they didn't nerf it, they completely gutted the perk. It was needed though, it did need to be reworked. This is an example of why Eruption needed to be re reworked or fixed or nerfed or however you want to put it. They could have just removed the in-cap effect to be totally honest. If you're not sure what Eruption is, it's a teachable perk from the killer nemesis. Once you kick a generator, it's highlighted in yellow to you and the next time you down a player it explodes, losing 10% of progress. It also makes it so that if the survivor is working on the any gens that have been kicked, they become unable to do actions such as working on the generators for 25 seconds. So it's a pretty bloody obnoxious build to be honest. It has now been reworked to this, the same effect but the generator loses 10% of all progress which is pretty terrible. So like, if the generator has been done for say 20% it'll lose 2%. Also you see the auras of survivors working on the generator that explodes for 10 seconds. This sounds good but the information is pretty useless as you'll be chasing a survivor at the time so the perk is dead and this example is a reason why it is dead. The one take home for this is I think the behavior as a company is a little bit scummy making a perk matter for a lot of players who are probably new to the game. I barely used Eruption but I imagine a lot of people did and probably bought Nemesis as a licensed DLC chapter just for the perk alone. To then make the perk completely useless is a bit of a middle finger to the consumer in my opinion. Enjoy the video. I felt pretty dirty playing this way, but hey, it was all for the good of YouTube. Enjoy. I'm not sure how far away I can go because the generators are being worked on slightly. But as soon as I uh, get this person down, they'll um, the people working on the generators won't be able to use them at all. Right. <laughs> Okay, so two exploded, and I think two are in capped, so for the next 25 seconds they can't work on generators, and this person's being hooked over here, so they're going to have to go away from them. I'm just going to go back to my three gen, which are literally next to each other. I've actually got quite lucky with this example, because these three gens are so close, there's no way they're going to get them finished. So the build I'm running is... <clears throat> Pop goes the weasel, Call of Brine... Overcharge and Eruption. If you're not sure what the uh, perks do, Eruption is it's a bit controversial at the moment because it it's very frustrating to play against. I can just kick these three gens one by one by one. And if anyone works on them, they explode when I down someone, losing 10% regression, and they can no longer work on the gens. And then that's partnered with Pop Goes a Weasel, so every time I hook someone, I can kick the gen for 25% of current progress. An overcharge makes it so if someone tries to work on the generator I've kicked, they get a difficult skill check, and sometimes they're quite hard to do. Um, and Colour Brine means it so that when I kick a generator, they also regress 200% quicker, and it's highlighted when someone works on it for me. So, <clears throat> it's scummy, especially when I just, the, the entire first part of this game, I've completely ignored the generators, which have no use to me. These three here are the only ones I'm going to go for. It's going to be a long game, I think. Okay. They're all being kicked, so all they need to do is down her. I think she should have thrown that, because I can just drop a guard down. Drop him. Okay, she's left the loop, but I need to go back, really. I can't really afford to let three people work on one gen. So we'll see how much progress they've got. This, if they beat me, I'll be impressed, because this is hard to break. So they are working on it. Right, another one injured. I'll give this a kick. Oh, I've been uh, blast mined. Right. I'm pretty sure someone's in there. See, they can start to get the gens done quite quickly if they all start working on them together. I've got to be really careful of how far they try and pull me away. And also, I can't see shit in the corn. They're going down a bit. I don't mind them healing. That's fine. Because as soon as I get that down, the gens are just going to explode. This is, like, so frustrating to play against. Okay, so someone's working on this one. We know someone's in the area. It failed the skill check. That's completely dead, that generator. Okay. Shaq against uh, the knight is... Yeah, there we go. Oh, she dead out. Very nice. What is my guard doing? Okay, this one's working on that generator. That's the call of Brian telling me. I'll keep them all kicked. 
Hello. It's probably the perfect killer for this as well. I think I've got enough time to get her down. Got caught in a barrel there. They know how to hold uh, walls and loops quite well. Oh, damn. I can't go to her now. Oh, well. Back to the generators. You see how much progress they've got? It's probably at about 40 or 50%. I'll soon be gone. Got three injured now, so... Two, someone's just healed. If the healing not working on gens, so it's okay. Go, push her away with the guard. Just keep patrolling until I eventually wear them down. It must be this one as well, then. No. Hello, is it explosion time? <laughs> All three of them. Oh, God, this is awful. I'm so sorry. Oh, dear. And I'll just put one here so they, when they start working, they get pushed. There you go. Someone's getting chased by a guard. It's going to fall apart now. There's no way. I'll be surprised if someone doesn't DCs. Some people play this way every game and find it fun. It's just really not. It's just Gen Kick Simulator. It's really boring. Thought I heard someone. Okay. And that person just giving up on Hook. Well, they've started working on the Gen again. I'll throw this over here. And I'll kick this one. Before they get down, one to pop. There you go. <laughs> She's in capped for 25 seconds. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's, uh, it's so stupid. Oh my god. Guards on her. Oh, she's down. I think that's a GG. This game has just fallen apart. Holy crap. <clears throat> what a boring way to play this game. This is... If you do play this way, by the way, you're not going to learn a thing. And eventually when behavior doesn't nerf these kind of perks, you will be terrible. You, you just get so lazy. I played a game earlier this way. And because uh, I was trying to get a video for this kind of style. But I think I'll use this one. And I actually lost because I got bored. I just... I ended up chasing someone because I was that bored of just kicking generators. But I could have won the game if I actually kept on kicking. <laughs> Let's get you hooked. That's a GG, guys. I'm really sorry. It's not fun. And a hook for you. Oh, I thought I'd be able to throw that over there, but I couldn't. I need to get out of this game as quickly as possible. I'm not going to stay in the end game. <laughs> I don't want to get abuse. I can't be bothered. Well, yeah. I think I think maybe in one of the mid-season patches they'll, they'll nerf eruption at least. I think Call of Brian's fine. If they just remove the in-cap effects, it'll be okay. G G.